everyone! Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through the complete process of creating an SSH account and setting it up on the SSH custom app. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss our latest tutorials. Now let's get started. The first step is to create your SSH account. Open your device's browser and type SSH SSL in the search bar. From the search results, click on the official website link. Once you're on the homepage, look at the upper right corner and tap the menu button. From the menu list, select SSH SSL. This will take you to the server locations page. Here, choose the server location you prefer and click on it. You'll now arrive at the server creation page. Simply fill in a username and password of your choice, complete the reCAPTCHA, and click the Create Account button. After a short countdown, your account will be created successfully. Copy the details, such as the host, username, password, and port, to your clipboard because we'll use them shortly in the SSH custom app. Next, make sure you have the latest version of the SSH custom app installed. If not, download it from the Google Play Store. Open the app and from the home screen, tap the hamburger icon on the top left. From the expanded menu, select Profile. On the Profile page, we're going to add the SSH details you just created. For the profile name, you can type something simple like SSH, then paste in the host, username, password, and port that you copied from the website. For the port, you can usually use 80 or 443 depending on what was provided. Once all the details are filled in correctly, tap the Save button. Your SSH profile is now ready to use. Now, go back to the profile list and check the box next to the SSH profile you just created. Then, return to the home screen of the app. From here, simply tap the radio button to connect. And that's it! You're now connected to a fast and secure internet connection using SSH Custom. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe for more useful tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.